Yo guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Splotchybug, and welcome back to the channel, and some finally, finally we have some Battlefront content to go over. Yes, this is a news update, believe it or not, I didn't think I'd ever be making one of these again. But today we do actually have some news that was acquired and found out through some of the community out on Reddit. Just before we get into that, as always, if you are new to the channel, be sure to drop a subscription and also turn on the notification bells to get notified anytime I go live or make videos such as these ones for future news or live streams. And if you're just as excited as I am, go ahead and drop a like and also drop a comment after watching this video what you guys think of some of the changes coming in within this next patch. And if you haven't already joined the Discord, there is a link in the description below, as well as links to all of my social medias where you can keep up to date with me and all the stuff I do in general, and all the sort of content and news that I make throughout the week. But with all that said and done, let's get into this news. So yes guys, there is actually an update for Battlefront 2, at least not yet. There was, but now it has been revoked, so let me explain. So a lot of you guys have Battlefront on Origin, or if you're on console, you will not have Steam. For the people who do have Steam, they actually realized it was an update added to Battlefront 2 and managed to log on and see some of the changes that were made to the game. Shortly after this was made live, DICE were very, very quick to go ahead and remove this update for multiple reasons, which I'm gonna explain in a second. Now, even though it was cut off, people managed to log on to the game servers and have a look at some of the changes that were made and we managed to sort of sum up and scrounge a small patch list. Obviously, this isn't going to be everything in the patch and there are patch notes coming out, but these are what we managed to find out so far. So, Ben Walk went ahead on the forums and made a post saying, this is not the patch you are looking for dot 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 yet. Sorry about that, should be fixed now. So basically what had happened is they pushed this update out on Steam, one, by accident and too early, and two, the reason why they revoked it so quickly was because they were actually hosting the old servers from the most previous patch to the one that they had on Origin, and Origin, the game on Origin has the most up-to-date servers, so people that were going on Steam couldn't actually go ahead and play in servers since there was no servers because they were backlogged and there were two different server sites. So that's why they revoked it and they're now working on that and adding a couple of more things into the patch which will then give us some patch notes for the update which should be coming out pretty soon. So as for all we know so far and all of the patch notes that we managed to scrounge up when people managed to log on and test a couple of things out, what we have so far is Darth Maul's spin attack block bug is now fixed so when you would dash into someone and you would turn around and try to block yourself and they would just shoot through it or swing straight through it that bug for Darth Maul is now patched so when you spin dash you don't have to consider running away you can just turn around and block without it bugging out we have Grievous's claw rush can't hit the enemy more than two times finally Thank God the community has been crying out for this change and I'm so thankful that DICE have actually managed to go ahead and do this so you cannot hit the same enemy more than twice. We also have Boba Fett's jetpack and UEI file has been modified. The one that displays his jetpack ability and fuel is the fourth ability slot got updated. No idea what are the actual changes. Might be one change affecting both files so we don't actually know what's going on with Boba Fett there but we do know he's getting some jetpack changes. We have some campaign files for the MC, MC85 VFX files were modified again doesn't give us much context and the old origin logo has now also been removed and replaced with the new EA Play logo. So like I said we haven't managed to get a lot since they were revoked so quickly but the two main ones to take out of that was that Darth, uh, Darth Maul's sorry, spin attack blog bug is now fixed finally and also the big one Grievous's claw rush which would basically just ruin HVV games as a whole Heroes vs Villains which is so difficult to play at least for the rebels and it would basically kill a game off if you had a team with Grievous, Darth Vader, Boba Fett and Aiden for example you, that is now changed so you can only hit an enemy no more than two times now, I know that isn't much to gather from what we got there, but we do know that patch notes are probably coming soon since Benwalk, like I said previously, 
said that the update isn't what we were looking for yet, but that is obviously very soon because they did try to deploy it at least on the Steam servers, which means that the update is probably close to completion, therefore giving us a bit of hindsight in towards when the update is coming out. I'm assuming maybe within the next week, hopefully Tuesday, but who knows at this point, it could be sooner or longer. And hopefully a day before that, we can have some patch notes to potentially go over in the stream or just as a video. But when all of that news comes, I will be delivering in a video, so don't you guys worry. So that is gonna be it for today's news update. If you're just as excited as I am for some of these game breaking bugs and just really stupidity that were added to the game from the last patch, the final patch that we're supposedly were getting, but we're now getting another patch. Go ahead and drop a like, that was long winded. Go ahead and drop a like and subscribe and turn on the notifications to get updated when I make another video or go live. Just a reminder to all of my subscribers and anyone watching the video, I am now back streaming. I have put a streaming schedule out. So if you guys are interested or previously enjoyed my streams that we're doing before, I have returned and there's a new streaming schedule for you guys to follow. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully you have subscribed and maybe even consider joining the Discord. I will see you guys next time for hopefully another news update and what is a successful patch. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.